It's absolutely horrendous. It's ridiculous. It's tragic. Oh, I'm 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 I'm, I'm raging. Welcome back to my channel guys. Today is Saturday the 13th of June and I have got a juicy one today for you guys. All right. Yeah, it's bad. But first, I've got my fake monster to keep me going. Let's get stuck into it. Now from the title of this video, you'll know what I'm about to talk about and it is the skinny jab. They're just taking advantage of people that just want that quick fix, six pack shortcuts, six day shred, lose 50 pounds in 50 minutes. I'm gonna take the skinny jab mask off and you'll just see it's just a load of shit. So I'm not gonna waste any more time. Let's get into it. Got my pad of absolute fire that I'm gonna just roast this product with. And I've got my laptop here with the website open, which I will throw up screenshots of things as I get to them and talk through them. So you can see exactly what I'm looking at. When I look at a source outside of the website, you know, to get some external evidence, I will also throw up those screenshots on the screen so you can see exactly what extracts and what data I'm looking at to support what I'm saying. Okay, so I'm looking at the homepage of the website and I was hoping to see a line on the website that says, Skinny jab is X, but it doesn't tell you what it is. Um, <laughs> all it does is on the homepage is Gemma Collins before and after saying she lost three stone with skinny jab. Who knows whether the photoshopped, I don't know. I can't make that call. I'm on Kerry Katona launching her own Manchester branch. Doesn't, doesn't say, doesn't say what it is. Doesn't say what it is. This makes us look bad, doesn't it? Uh, it's not great. Okay, so I've got to a good part of the homepage website and it's saying, why should you choose Skinny Jab as your strategy to losing weight? <laughs> On the first line of the third paragraph, why to choose Skinny Jab, is that the Skinny Jab doesn't do much at all. What? This is ridiculous. It's kind of ruined the fun for me now because they've just kind of told everybody on their own website that the skinny jab's a load of bollocks. It's beyond me, I, I, I'm dumbfounded. Buy our jab, third line down on why you should buy our jab. The jab doesn't really do much. Crazy. Mind is blown. But it gets a little bit juicier. So it says the skinny jab itself doesn't make a material difference on your weight loss. But if you combine it with the skinny jab program, the skinny jab program, the majority of the weight loss is coming from the diet and exercise program, which I imagine just magically puts you in a calorie deficit, which is what actually causes the weight loss. But the jab itself doesn't have much impact on your weight loss. Is it me? Is it me? You call a product skinny jab. The main part of the selling point is that you get an injectable, a daily injectable for four weeks. But it doesn't actually give you the results and they say that on their homepage. And what does give you results is when you combine it with their diet and exercise skinny jab program to lose weight. <laughs> this is great banter. It really is. Who, who, who thought of this? Who thought that? That's just ridiculous. I'm not going to say any more about that. Let's move on. What they basically boil it down to is that the jab helps you suppress your appetite, and if you combine that with the the science, the science behind the diet and exercise program, which is the exact same science behind every diet and exercise program, which is to put you in a net caloric deficit at the end of each day or week or whatever the time period is for you to lose weight. 
It is the exact same science. There's no special science with Skinny Jabs program. The Skinny Jabs program follows the same theories of thermodynamics as any other fad or program. It's bonkers. Before we get into the price, what kind of evidence-based results are they advertising you will get if you buy this jab? So, the first pop-up information is that the average weight loss is 12 to 20 pounds in a four week course. So bringing out my Einstein level of mathematics, on a four week course, you are gonna be losing between three to five pounds a week for four weeks. Wow. What, are you not seeing that? <laughs> that, that was, wow. Get me. Man's not dumb. Okay. Man is not dumb. Yeah. Quick maths. If you're 500 pounds, and you're about 75% body fat, losing five pounds a week is 1% of your body weight a week, which is relatively healthy and normal. Now, if you are getting on this skinny jab, as a 140 pound female is not good. It's not optimal, it's not ideal, mate. All right, let's get on to pricing. This is my favorite bit. This is where they get all the money, 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 money. If you get the Skinny Jab daily program, which is for their recommended four weeks, it's 249 pounds. It's absolutely horrendous. It's ridiculous, it's tragic. One thing I have found is on the Skinny Jab website, I looked everywhere and they had literally no information on what the Skinny Jab actually is or what it actually does on a scientific level. All they say is, there's this little injectable, it's called Skinny Jab and it reduces your appetite and you lose weight. That's it. So for the science side, I did a bit of digging and what this does, this injection reduces your hunger signals within your body. The jab itself stabilizes blood glucose levels. Basically through an increase in insulin that's released from your pancreas, decreases your glucose levels, and all that helps to reduce any hunger signals in your body to your brain. So by having less hunger signals, you sub subsequently eat less food. The only doctors I could find that supported the Skinny Jab on the Skinny Jab website with Gemma Collins, who is an absolute fountain of knowledge in diet and exercise, because she has been in, in she has been in unreal shape her whole life. So I'm definitely going to go to her. The second doctor that I found on there was Kerry Katona, ridiculously academic background. She seems like a smart woman. I, there's absolutely no scientific backing, but if Kerry Katona says it, do you know what? Fuck it. Let's trust her. So the skinny jab is actually Saxenda, which is basically a brand name for the drug Liraglutide. This drug, Liraglutide, which is basically what is reducing your hunger. Now the main issue I have with this is someone will pay £250 for four weeks of daily jabs. Shock horror, after the four weeks are over, you stop taking the jabs, you stop the suppressant of your hunger through the drug and boom, the hunger's back again. If you want to keep that weight loss sustainable and you need to use the hunger suppressants, well get ready to fork out 175 pounds per month for the rest of your life because you've been dependent on the hunger suppression. You know what, for, for a business, that's fantastic. You've got your recurring customers there, recurring revenue, and they'll be paying you for as long as they need to keep the weight off. It's mind blowing how ridiculous this is. Let's move on because now we've done the science side, I just want to tear them apart on their website. As with any drug, there are side effects, and they say you get slight headaches, slight nausea, and tiredness. I go to the nearest medical website and Wikipedia, which is actually a very good source because it links through to the research papers that it references to. I forgot to mention the thyroid cancer, the gallbladder disease, and, and the kidney problems. Which, from looking at it, the thyroid cancer was through testing on rodents in a research paper done a few years ago. There wasn't enough evidence there to suggest that it would be an issue in humans, so it's not known whether this is a side effect in humans, but it was a side effect in rodents. It's a bit dodgy that you've left out a lot of side effects 
that a lot of other medical institutions have found. And it says on this BNF medical directory that Saxenda, which is the brand name for Liraglutide, is suggested that it should only be used in individuals with a body mass index of 30 or more. And again, it's repeating the same thing. If you are not obese, you should not be on this drug. How can Gemma Collins put on her Instagram to a mass following of people, of which a large majority of them will be under 30 BMI, to buy this skinny jab that so many medical institutions and so many research papers show that it should not be used in people that are under 30 BMI and it's corroborated by the fact that the whole drug itself was created for overweight obese people and type 2 diabetes so packages and savings Ooh. Ooh, that's a bingo <laughs> Let's have a look what the RRP is on these bad boys because they're always absolutely outrageous. So you can get the bronze course, which is 250, which I think is the one that I mentioned before. Now the silver course is four to eight weeks. Interesting, 425. The gold course is 450 pounds, but the RRP is 600. What should we sell this product at? Let's sell it at 450. Great idea, Sergeant. What's the RRP? Hmm. The RRP, uh, the RRP, 600. It's just ridiculous, why? It makes it sound like you're getting a discount, but it's just a made up number on top of a made up price to make you think you're getting a good deal. So on the website, they actually have a four tip approach to losing weight and keeping it off. Four tips? I thought what I had to do was just stab myself in the side. So step one is obviously the jab. I'm not even gonna show that on the screen. Number two, reduce your portion sizes. I wonder what reducing portion sizes would do. Oh yeah, it'll put you in a reduced calorie intake, which will then help adjust you to a net calorie deficit. I love how at the bottom as well, it says our slimmers reduce their meals down to a modest breakfast and then a small snack for lunch and supper. I mean, are these kids for real? Obviously you're gonna lose weight if you have a modest breakfast and then you have a little snack for lunch and dinner. Where's all the calories? That sounds like a thousand calories worth of like meals. It's ridiculous, what the hell? But then if we look at number three, which I'll probably put on this screen, release your stored body fat. <sighs> like it's a mystical step three. You could have combined all these into one step and called it getting a net deficit. Like, why is this re relevant? Because most people don't have an issue with ketoacidosis. So I don't understand why that's there and I don't understand why it's such a massive point on their three steps on how to lose weight. I love the bit there, it says, it's often referred to as starvation mode. Now, starvation mode is a term that's thrown around like a fucking tennis ball. Like no one even knows what starvation mode is anymore because it's used in so many different contexts. It's used in so many different situations that no one has a fucking clue what starvation mode is. When you are in a very restricted calorie deficit, your body tries to conserve its energy. Oh. I'm in a pretty shit deficit right now, so I'm gonna subconsciously tell myself to don't fidget as much, try and reduce any unnecessary energy expenditure. There's not some like reaction in your body that just like stops burning calories and it's like some special starvation mode. So step number four on their four step plan to get an absolutely shredded for the summer. Develop positive habits. Interesting, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I agree with that step four. You should develop positive habits in terms of your caloric outtake by the forms of cardio and your caloric intake through the forms of food. But let's have a look at what these positive habits are. Talking about cooking healthy, delicious food that is easy on the waistline. I don't know what that actually means. I think what they're trying to say is low calorie dense foods. <laughs> we also encourage you to embrace gentle exercise, a refreshing swim, or perhaps some time in the garden. 
Like, what the hell do you do in the... Like, being in the garden is some form of cardio. I have never heard that before. I don't understand. It's ridiculous. Basically, their four points to weight loss success was... One, use the skinny jab. Two, reduce your calorie intake. Number three was bullshit. And number four, develop positive habits, which is also vague. But they kind of allude to the fact that you should do some cardio. I could save you 10 minutes of your life not reading that website and give you one specific tip. The one tip for mystical weight loss through my scientific, special formula driven diet to losing weight. And that is a calorie deficit. And I'm not even charging for that. I'm not even charging you. Fucking I'll give away way too much info for free. Now my all time favorite part of this website is if you go to the workout section of the website and you get this unbelievably value add special crazy workout routine from your main girl, Kerry Katona, the idol, the one you should look up to in terms of fitness, health and nutrition. And I had a look at this video. There is probably two exercises I'd have kept out of that whole video. It is absolutely god awful. You're talking about a website that only cares and advertises for body weight loss. Now, if only thing you care about is losing weight on your body, and that is it, you should not be wasting your time doing crunches and doing sit-ups that do absolutely zero on body weight loss. And you could have easily spent that time jogging at a leisurely pace on the treadmill and burning more calories as a result. Uh, I'm not even, I'm just, I'm done. That is my opinion on the skinny jab. My overarching conclusion is it is the total equivalent of clickbait on YouTube. They call it the skinny jab, they sell it as the skinny jab, but then they say in their own website that the jab itself is just a load of shit and it suppresses your appetite a little bit. And the fact that you will have to come off this jab at some point means your, your hunger will return. So it's a very short term approach to weight loss. They don't say anything about the drug. They say nothing about the actual scientific processes behind it. They leave out half of the side effects and they charge you 250 pounds. Please don't buy this thing. If you truly want to lose weight, then make sure you eat in a net calorie deficit. I'm gonna say this a million times. If you're one of these people that really struggles with hunger issues on a diet, then what you need to do is pick up the low calorie dense foods. And when I mean that, I mean fruit, vegetables, my fucking French toast, and you will lose weight. So that is a skinny jab debunked. I hope you found this useful. If you were considering buying the skinny jab, I think you should smash that like button for the amount I just saved you. And if you ever thinking about doing any more fads, you should probably smash the subscribe button as well because I probably will debunk a lot more fads. Anyway guys, take it easy. Hope you enjoyed the vid. Peace.